<laughs> oh, good. good afternoon. Good Hi. afternoon. We appreciate the comic relief in the chat. Uh, we appreciate you taking the time and joining us today. We are sorry we're late. Uh, thanks, Dennis. Uh, I, I, I am almost due for a haircut. Uh, so it, it, when when the hair starts coming over the glasses, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna have a problem. But it that's coming soon. So so thanks. I'm glad you could see us. Yesterday, uh, we have to apologize. Yesterday there there seems to have been. <laughs> um, we had some technical difficulties with the platform. And the camera wouldn't come on, and uh, so if you tuned back in with us. Uh, you were able to catch the end of the show. So I'm glad it happened at the end of the show, Naz. Uh, yep. That way we got through our interviews for the most part. Pam will be back and we'll talk to her a little bit more about the food scene here. Uh, it's changing rapidly. Uh, I'm starting to see more and more posts of folks uh, who aren't able to, to hang in there. Yeah, this is a kind of do or die uh, tipping point for a lot of restaurants. So that's a little sad, a little sad. So uh, our hearts are with them and we're thinking about you. And I do know that some of them are, are hanging in there to do some emergency deliveries and feed our frontline uh, staff. So thank you for doing that. We appreciate it. And really thank you to those who have supported us uh, in our initiative to help uh, feed our heroes. Uh, we've raised a couple thousand dollars and uh, we're still delivering some food. Uh, we are closing uh, the pizzeria here uh, start today. So if anybody's looking for the last fix of Gennaro's pizza, uh, get your orders in today. Uh, yeah. After today, we're gonna we're gonna close shop for a little while uh, as we get as we get through this. So, uh, thank you to those who have placed orders and and supported uh, what we're doing here. Uh, yeah. We've got a we've got a good show lined up. We were having uh, some technical difficulties getting our guests in. Uh, we have one on the phone with us, uh, so hopefully we can hear him. And uh, Janine's Janine's joined us, so she's here. Uh, we're gonna we're actually gonna kick it off with. Uh, well, since he's on the phone, he's also working. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna squeeze this into the best of our ability. Uh, Coach Joe. Coach Joe, we're excited to have him join us. It's gonna be the uh, first uh, college women's bowling program on Staten Island. So we're excited about that. Um, to have that opportunity for some of our uh, Staten Island and local. Uh, high school seniors to have another opportunity to stay close to home. Hey, Joe, you, you're with us? I'm with you, man. All uh, right, you're the best. You might, if you don't mind, if you could speak up a little bit. We've got you on speakerphone here. Uh, okay. And uh, if, if our guests can't hear us, they're, they would, they're the first to tell us uh, about anything that goes wrong, and we appreciate it. So if you can't hear them, yeah. we'll just reiterate some of what, uh, what Joe's saying. So, Joe, thanks for taking the time. Uh, with us today, I know you're working, so you're doing this in between, uh, in between some work. So, where are you today? I am uh, in Eastern Pennsylvania, working at Dick's Sporting Goods. We are one of the uh, quote-unquote essential businesses that uh, the governor has left open because we sell hunting and fishing stuff. But mostly, uh, we sold every piece of fitness gear in the last three <laughs> weeks that we have. <laughs> as fast as we get it, it goes out. Uh, with curbside service, so it's, uh, it's been a little crazy, and now everybody's buying bicycles because yeah. spring is going to get here eventually. 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 Uh, eventually. Yeah, you know, it's funny. Uh, the groundhogs have both uh, have both told us that spring is going to start uh, early. I, I'm not so sure about that. Uh, so the groundhogs brought us some other special gifts uh, this spring season. So thanks to them. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, Joe, so, Joe, uh, I, I want to say if you're, give you your official welcome to Staten Island. Uh, although you're not you're, you're not officially living here at the moment, uh, you're, you're traveling back and forth from Pennsylvania. Uh, so you're a, a few months on the job at Wagner College. Uh, tell us what's going on. Uh, Wagner has been unbelievable uh, in support. Uh, we you know we started this. I got hired in December which is kind of late um, to start, you know, in the fall of, of 2020, which is only, you know, around seven months away, which is hard to believe. Um, but I hit, you know, pretty hard running and then recruited hard right off the bat. And, uh, you know, we do have enough for a team now and I'm still working on a couple more, even through all this. 
Um, the NCAA recruiting rules are a little tough right now because, you know, obviously nobody can see anybody and nobody can go to campus and, and everything is virtual, kind of like what you guys are doing. Um, but we're, you know, all of us as coaches in all sports, we're all doing the same thing. We're all, you know, trying to do the best we can and, and, uh, looking forward that this is all going to end soon and, uh, we're going to get back to, uh, normal life and sports and uh i know that's the one thing we all miss i know i do yeah well, and as I, i'm sure you're missing the, the golf course for sure uh yeah that, that's the that's the one business that mystifies me that i don't understand why we're not open but um you know powers that be or higher than me that made decisions like that but that is an outside activity and we kind of figured that that would be okay that's what they want people to do is to go outside um, the business that's probably going to get hurt the most is yours. Uh, you know, the, the inside places, uh, who knows what's going to happen, you know, and it's it's great what you guys are doing to keep the bowling community together and, and to have everybody know that you're still there and you guys are still trying to hold things together, uh, you know, through this basically unprecedented time uh, in the world, not just our country. It's crazy. Uh, we appreciate that. You know, the, the funny thing about the golf course is people are out there golfing. It's, it's you know, I would imagine they really they're tr trying to avoid people being together. And so on the golf course, if, you, if you're playing in a foursome, you're not staying apart from each other. So I, I can see that. But our golf courses, there are people all over the place. Um, uh, I'm sure our golf courses, uh, the owners aren't really happy that people are using the courses anyway, but they are out there. Hey, so you talk about you've got enough girls to fill the team. So the exciting thing for us, this is Staten. Uh, uh, we've got a few universities here, and this is the first uh, bowling team. Of course, it's a women's bowling team, which is awesome. Uh, we're, we were excited when, when the opportunity knocked and you guys were, Wagner was getting ready to hire a coach, and they hired you. They announced it, and we're getting ready to start a partnership in the upcoming season. And you were worried about getting girls to bowl, and you've got a, you've got a roster. How, how, how excited are you? Well, I, I am very excited. I mean, I'm, I'm lucky. This is the second time in my life I've gotten to do this uh, from the ground up. At Kutztown, as you know, I did it. Uh, I started there in 2007 with basically nothing. Uh, had a couple of players and then, you know, built it. And we were a nationally ranked team for a long time. And I, I plan to do the same thing at Wagner. Uh, we're going to Northeast Conference is, is very good, as you know, because uh, St. Francis Brooklyn has hosted – events in your place and, and i always brought my teams there uh we had great dinners at good fellas around the corner and uh <laughs> i have fond memories of staten island i used to bowl there with my father uh when i was you know a young decent professional and uh yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this whole thing uh to, to be able to start from nothing and see what we can do and, and the girls that are coming here are excited too wagner is a great school uh, you know, right, really close to the city, and uh, and everybody is really excited to get this going. So, so we're just looking forward and and talking and getting things set up so so we can you know hit the ground as best we can in October. Awesome. So um, you mentioned some of the other teams in the area, and there's uh, some pretty good competition. Uh, how do you feel your team is going to uh, shape up there? Um, I don't, I don't know how we're going to do to be honest. I mean, we're going to be obviously really young, uh, as of right now, you know, we're looking at five freshmen and a transfer. And, uh, so we're probably going to be younger than everybody else, but, uh, the, the level of high school bowling now is so much better than it was, you know, 13, 14 years ago when I started, um, the girls are more prepared, uh, to to bowl at the NCA level, and the, the nice thing about having a smaller team, you know, having maybe six or seven players, is, is they're all going to have to play. Everybody's going to have to do their job, yeah. and we're going to learn as a group, and we're going to grow as a group. And um, and like I told them all when I recruited them, you're a part of history now. Uh, this this there's never been a women's bowling team at Wagner, and forever. Uh, your names are going to be on the list as, as you're the ones that started it. And where we go from here, it depends on what we do now. So uh, so everybody's really excited. And, 
I can't. I can't wait to get going. I really can't. We're excited we, too. We are too. Uh, we're certainly excited to to have a home team here. Uh, you mentioned it. We've been fortunate to host the Saint uh, Saint Francis Terriers uh, a few times, and uh, Dawn is the Staten Islander herself uh, has done a great job at building that program. Of course, some uh, girls that have bowled here have excelled in that program, and uh, we're excited to to bring it here. Uh, and it's a beautiful campus, an absolutely awesome. beautiful campus. No, beautiful no we we are too. I and and as you know, as as Nas said, the, uh, the Northeast Conference is very very good. You know, five out of the seven teams are nationally ranked, and uh, you know we have three meets a year just within ourselves. And if you know we don't play well, it's going to show real quick. So uh, you know we're going to have to work really hard right from the beginning. Uh, and our first meet is in November, so you know for the conference. You know, I'm going to try to get at least one in in October before we do that. And uh, that's that's the progress now is we're trying to make a schedule uh, and try to figure out where we're going to go and, and, you know, where I can grow our team and, and go from there. Well, do, do you feel that um, maybe, I mean, this year will be a learning year, but uh, going forward, uh, having a young team and kind of growing into each other together, could be a – it could be a positive thing for you. Uh, I think it'll be a real positive thing. Uh, uh, you know, not having a ton of girls on the team is a huge help to me um, because that way it gives everybody a chance to play. And then it's, uh, I don't have to worry too much about, you know, like, you know, what do I do with the other seven or eight girls that I have to leave home? You know how, how do I manage that? This is this is a much different situation, uh, but but I have high expectations of this. Not just you know, I mean the school's been great as far as support, but you know I'm I'm trying to win a national championship, and for us to get to that point, we got a hell of a lot of work to do. And uh, you know we're I, Wagner's not going to be a joke while I'm running the show, <laughs> and and we're uh, we're going to push and and we're going to try to get the best out of the girls that we possibly can and and uh whatever schedule frank lets us practice there you know we're, we're going to be in there you know beating down the lanes uh trying to get better so we can compete with some of these teams the lanes will be here when when, when you're ready and certainly of course when we're ready uh, <laughs> they should be well rested after all this. yes yeah <laughs> uh, they're well rested uh they've been flattened we had some work done and uh we're excited uh for the Good. new season, hey, talk about the season. So the season, st when does the season start? About how many, uh, about how many matches uh, do you anticipate in in a full season? Uh, we're we're allowed to start October first. Uh, that's Division One rules. That's the earliest we can start uh, practices. Um, there are some early events now in October. A couple of them I created when I was at Kutztown and been taken over by other teams. And the reason we do it early is because it's easier to travel in October, November, you know, rather than schedule things in January and February when you never know what the weather's going to be like. Um, so it's nice to get, you know, an early competition or two in. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to, as you know, we've talked about hosting something at Rabs and bringing a few teams uh, to Staten Island because there's a few teams that are close enough that I think if I pick the right dates, you know, I can get like a smaller event. Uh, together in year one, uh, I want my girls to to know what it's like to be the whole school, and uh, and and most of all, I want the Staten Island community and I want Wagner College to know uh, that we're serious. You know, I mean, it's uh, you know, bowling's not exactly the highest level sport, but uh, the athletes, the student athletes, have to work just as hard at this as you know, Absolutely. football or basketball or any other sport does. Uh, our season is very long. It starts in October and doesn't end until the third week of March at conference championships. So you're looking at six months, uh, you know, with a break for the holidays in between. So it, it's it's a long season and you have to be patient. And I'm going to have to be patient because, like you guys said, I'm going to have a really young team. But uh, we're, we're going to have to grow together. Yeah. Hey, uh, we got a question for one of our viewers. Uh, are any of the, how many of the girls are at, are local from Staten Island? Uh, can you talk about that? Uh, so far, only one. Okay. So far. So far so, makes it sound I'm like still maybe... I'm still working at it. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and and it, 
we've gotten questions about the when you announce when the school announced the program. Uh, we've gotten some great questions from from the young ladies at Bowl, and so there's some aspirational value uh, to stay around. And we've been we've been lucky. We've had a great partnership with the school as a sponsor of their athletic program over the last uh, few years, and they spent some time investing in sports. So uh, this is a new sport for them. They seem the school administration seems excited about it. Uh, to welcome not only the they sport, really are, and they've been great. They've all been great. Uh, our, our athletic director, Walt Hamline, Brandon Fahey, Greg Kusick, they've all been amazing. Every, that's the whole staff there has been behind us 100%. All the visits that the girls have done, you know, they go out of their way to, 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 you know, to show them every possible thing. And, you know, the students are, are very great at, uh, at Wagner, you know, by you know, welcoming them and, you know, answering any questions that they may have. So it's, it's just, uh, it's just a really exciting time. And, and we just have to get through this, this period that we're going through now, uh, in the United States and across the world. And, uh, sports are going to explode when all this is over because everybody's chomping at the bit. Yep. Yep. So do you have your girls, uh, maybe at home doing drills? What, what do you have them doing? Well, they, they're allowed, by NCAA rules. I'm not allowed right now to tell them to do okay. anything. All right. Uh, because there's like what they call a dead period rule. Yes. Uh, in the off season, and, and uh, there's kind of a freeze on that stuff right now. Uh, they can obviously do whatever they want on their own, uh, but I can't instruct them right now to do that, or any coach can't instruct them to do certain things. But okay. uh, and it, it's different. And a lot of them have posted videos and stuff you know, from other teams and things that they're doing at home, uh, you know, to try to, to help their, their bowling stamina and their fitness, which is the main thing. If they can work on their fitness while they're home, I think that's a great thing. You know, plus they have to do online studies for the ones that are in school now, uh, which is completely different than being on campus learning. It's, uh, it's a whole new, whole new ball of wax. So, um, so there's, there's a lot of things going on right now. And, and I know that uh, I know that the group that I've got is serious and they're excited about doing this. And I'm I'm pretty confident that they're uh, they're going to work hard enough to make this work. That's great. When do you get when do you get to uh, announce your roster? Um, that we have a couple that have signed. Uh, and then that that really is up to the school and the Northeast Conference because everything has to go through them. Everything has kind of been on you know, day by day basis, as you know, with everything going on. So I, I've been on conference calls, uh, you know, with the Northeast Conference. As a matter of fact, we just had one a couple of days ago, just, you know, because the NCAA keeps changing things daily. Uh, you know, things are either postponed or canceled or whatnot. So once we sort through all that stuff, then, um, then the roster will be announced and, and listed online and all that stuff. But uh, right now, nobody's allowed to sign a national letter of intent until at least April 16th. Uh, but the, uh, the dead period recruiting freeze, as far as visits, uh, I can't do any in-person visits until at least after May 31st. All right. You've, uh, you've got a, a lot of work on your hands uh, for sure. Uh, but it looks like the most important pieces come together, which is which is great. Well, luckily, I did a lot of work early, and uh, you know it would be tough to, if I was starting now. Yeah. But at least you know we have a group in place that are going to be here and going to be the team, and, and then we'll go from there and build on that. But um, it's it's just a really exciting time, you know, despite everything that's going on in, on the planet. And uh, the only thing we can do is, is look forward. And that's why, you know, like you two are, are doing your part by keeping this going, you know, in our own bowling world, which is, you know, near and dear to all our hearts. And uh, that, that's what we need to do is we, we need to look forward because positive attitudes are the only thing in the end that's going to get us through all this stuff and together. Yep. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. And you're right. We're trying. We're doing our best. Tonight. I know. You're doing a great <laughs> job, Frank. We're, we're, we're all really happy that you're doing this. So so thank you, both of you. We appreciate, appreciate it. We appreciate it, too. Hey, Joe, go back to work. We appreciate you taking the time with thank us today. You. Thank you, Thanks. Joe. And Save uh, me some Staten Island pizza when I get there. Yeah, oh, it'll be ready for you. We got plenty thank of it. Thank you. You got it. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Stay healthy. Thanks. You, too. <laughs> Bye, Joe. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Now. <laughs> oh, thanks, Liz. Uh, 
We are, and that's great. I, I, I didn't know that we had a we had a full team. Yeah, we, we weren't sure. And uh, we know we've been hearing kind of things through the grapevine. And uh, well, it's good to know at least one of them has made it onto the team, one of our local girls. And uh, we hope we see more. And uh, he, uh, there is a, maybe a slight advantage to having a, a a younger group of girls that will kind of grow together as a family. And um, yeah, listen, it's going to be interesting to watch how that goes. You know, somebody who can maybe tell us a little bit about that is going to be joining us in mere moments. <laughs> That's a lie. That's a lie. Hi, Janine. Hi, Janine. How are you? How are you? How are you? Thank you so much for having me. I'm like so honored. <laughs> You should don't cry. <laughs> but but when this lady when this lady over here says says hey Janine, and I I just I don't even ask. I just said what do you need? What do you want? So I'm I'm so grateful that you asked love Naz to be here. I love you always always. I have to say I love we love the visits when you when you pop in and visit. That's just that, that's just a, a day in itself. We I'm like I'm like a whirlwind. I know. I'm <laughs> devil, it's I'm here. here. <laughs> So yeah. I, I have to ask you one question. Um, this is going to be particularly difficult time for you because you are a hugger. I am. I am. <laughs> this, is, this is not good. <laughs> no, it is. But it's. Um, but what I am, um, because I, I am a hugger and because I love people, I have to love them um, to keep them everyone safe. That is my that's my utmost priority. So I can I can refrain. It is very difficult um, <laughs> because I am an affectionate person. But I'm going to. Um, but I love people more than anything. And right now, I think it is about loving and caring about one another and keeping everyone safe and healthy. So I have to. I have to. I, I keep all my love on the inside, and <laughs> and, and, and I love everything that coach Joe was just saying, um, and especially one of his last statements was about um, having something to look forward to. And I think that's where we all are right now. You know, like we, um, we're going through it and to know on the other side of things that, um, you know, there's so much celebrating and so much, so many wonderful things to look forward to. Um, hugging and, and being uh, with people again, it will be, the absolute highlight and the first hug. I'm, I'm running the reps. The first <laughs> hug is going to that lady right there, <laughs> and anyone else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Um, so uh, tell us what you do at Newdorf High School. So I am a I'm a school social worker, um, and um, I have a couple of hats that I wear with that. Sometimes I'm I'm a little bit of a guidance counselor. Um, I'm really whatever um, a kid, a, a kid, a student, a, a, a parent, a faculty member, whatever anyone needs. That's what I try to be. Um, I'm officially a school social worker. Um, and um, right now, my my major um, purpose is is I work very closely with um, our uh, students and in, in, um, our autistic students that attend our school. Um, we have we have grown considerably over the years, so I have um, a wonderful uh, group of, of my kids um, about about 60, 65 of us, and um, they're 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 the loves of my life, and um, that's that's that. But I, but I love all the kids at New York. New York is a fantastic one of the fantastic schools on the island. Um, and uh, servicing kids, that's my primary. That's, 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 that's my role. Now, Janine, you look yes. like you're in your 20s. Oh, what? gosh. Oh, that's, this is why I love you more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> but you've been doing this for a long time. I, I know right. you. Right. I was going to say, Nez, you get, you're, you're walking a line here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'm walking with you. <laughs> She can because she's much older. Uh, <laughs> you're, uh, you're in a dangerous place because she, she can just reach over and wipe <laughs> Not like I personally wasn't Curtis, but you were a wonderful help to both of my daughters. Oh. I'm going to uh, try not to get choked up because you know what? I know, I know. I'm like, Des, don't, don't do it. <laughs> but um, 
uh, when they attended high school. And uh, you pretty much nailed it when you said that you are a resource to anybody who needs it, whether it was the students who needed them or the faculty who needed them. I know you helped out the coaches that needed help. Um, and uh, you were just, uh, everybody that you touched was felt you and, and they felt seen by you, which I felt for young kids to feel that way was very, very important. Oh, and uh, I just want you to know that. So, oh gosh, thank you so much. <laughs> I, I I do believe, and I'm we're, and this is just going to be a, a love fest because I know we're kindred spirits for the exact same reasons because of how hard we love. And and I said it to the other day, like I love this. I love that you guys are doing this. This is just keeping so many spirits up. Um, but just as your home behind you guys is like empty right now, that's such a that's not revs, you know, that's not anything that we know because your, your place of love is where I bring my place of love because that it's just the best place and, and, and people to be with. Um, so this all is particularly hard. Um, but you and I are kindred spirits, my friend, for the exact same reasons that of how much we care about everyone who's in front of us. So I only follow your lead, my friend. Oh, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Liz, Liz, by the way, says hello, and she misses and loves you. I'm over oh. here, just off camera. I'm here. Hi, <laughs> That's my girl. That's my girl. She's the one that started it all. That's right behind the camera there. That's my, my problem life. child. <laughs> you sure about that? <laughs> Liz, I really can't argue with that. <laughs> I will argue. I will stick up for Liz. Thank you, Frank. I'm going to stick up for Liz. Liz is not the problem. But never mind. Uh, you know, speaking of, you got this love fest happening, and I love it. Uh, what's your sign? What's your zodiac sign? Oh, Libra. Libra, tried and true. Thick and thin. I am exactly the sign. That's, but that's why it works. There's good, there's good connection between Libras and Sagittarians. Uh, there you go. Okay. Okay. I, it, I'm, I'm through, there is not a trait under Libra that I am not. I am, <laughs> I am, I am as, as, as kind and caring, but don't ask me to make a decision because that just will not happen at all. That's why you guys really get along. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and if you look up Sagittarian in the book, uh, in any book, you'll see this one. Uh, especially when it comes to uh, comes to uh, oh you never know uh, <laughs> always giving the benefit, <laughs> benefit of the doubt. Of the doubt. I I hear you I hear you but that's why I love her. <laughs> and love working her. so closely together every day, uh, whether we're throwing things across the office, yelling at each other, which we don't really do, but we 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 get we have our moments. We have our moments. Everyone does. That's that's a really that's a healthy relationship. That's <laughs> everybody has their moments. And some people don't get it. Yeah. Some people don't get it no. at all. The Sagittarian no. the Sagittarian thing is real. I, <laughs> people think we're crazy when we talk about Mercury being in retrograde and full moons. <laughs> I'm telling telling you, it's, it's real. I'm gonna say it. You know what? I might say it. that's real shit. <laughs> <laughs> it took me 14 episodes to say that. <laughs> oh my gosh. So Janine, what do your what do your days look like now? So tell me uh, what you do. So they're they've been interesting, and we're we're keeping it positive with using positive words. It's been interesting. Um, no, it's been it's it's been a challenge, um, uh, to say the least. Um, but I I do I, I gotta I gotta just give so much love and props here to to Miss DeAngelis, our our principal. Absolutely. I. I, I I, I got I got like no words. She, I, it, she's she's just talk about talk about love and talk about really um, just just keeping the community um, going together. Um, we 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 have a school day. Um, we we keep the kids uh, very active. Um, they have classes that they attend. Um, some are live. Um, some are um, uh, posted assignments with with teachers there, um, and it's all all through technology. It's amazing to me, and I'm not as 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 my struggle indicated before. I'm not a technology. You did fine. You did all. Good. But man, did this you know? We really everyone really had to pick up 
pick up their game, you know, and, um, and as uh, coach Joe said before about, you know, like starting young, well, so many of us like, like our dinosaur, well, I'm really a dinosaur in, uh, in, in, in the, in the board of ed. I, you know, we, we, but we all had to really, um, put our insecurities and our, our, um, our challenges aside and just really go full through, full into this, um, really for the sake of, of keeping things, um, uh, uh, an old normal in this new normal, you know? Um, and that's, that's what we're in, um, for now. Um, so the day is, 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 is really just supporting the kids. Um, I check in with all my kids. Um, Google is now my, my best friend in the whole wide world. <laughs> we Google chat, we Google meet, we Google classroom. Um, we are in constant, constant communication, um, with, with one another, um, the faculty, um, we do like buddy checks throughout the day, throughout the week. Um, the first week was, was a bit of a struggle for those that are in are on team, not technical. Uh, <laughs> and there were many of us, um, and we, and we made it through. And this was, I have to say this, this week that we just experienced was a much better um, much calmer, uh, just kind of work week, if you will. So, so we had to air out some kinks, which we did and figure some things out. And I think the kids this particular week had a, um, had a good school week. Um, I know, uh, you know, but there isn't a kid, believe it or not, it's, it's interesting. Uh, there isn't a kid that I've talked to who really, um, wouldn't, wouldn't welcome the opportunity to go back into school and back into their normal routine of things. Um, but everyone's making it through and, and we're doing it together. And that's, that's the main thing when no one, uh, no one is, um, no one's out there by themselves. No, uh, no, no adults and no kids. We're, we're all in it together. So, so my days are full, my friend, to answer your question from five minutes ago, they're full. Um, but I, I, I really wouldn't have it any other way. Um, just, just again, you know, um, because everyone is also going through their own stuff too. Um, you know, we're, we're in this situation because of, of what's happening within the world. Um, then we have family members and first responders and people who, um, who are living with our kids and such and, and, and are going through it while they're just trying to do their school and normal routine. So it's a lot of love and a lot of support and, and that's what we're doing. We'll have to invite Deidre to come on the show. She has been, she's awesome. I, oh. I, <laughs> I, I love her to death. She's, I, I, I mean, like you would have to have this on for like four hours. She's, <laughs> she's just, I, she's, you know, like when you need, when you, um, cause we, you know, we, we all, we all want to work and everyone is, um, is, um, is, is so willing, but when you got a leader and you got a leader who wants to lead, you just want to follow that leader. Um, and 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 just just support that and be behind that and she's just amazing she she was actually still at the school i don't know she, went, she was still at the school dispensing devices for any kids that still needed and i actually had a kid last night whose device for whatever reason just crashed on him mother went into an absolute panic um and I, I called her up and I was like, are you going to be at school? And she said, she said, actually, today's probably gonna be the last day. She's like, but I'm here. What do you need? I said, I can, I can get a parent over to, um, hopefully to pick up a device. She said, I'm here. And she was there. I mean, you know, like, you know, it's, uh, it's very, very fortunate. And I'm, I'm so, I always say I'm blessed, even in situations like this, I always say I'm a very blessed person. And she's a, she's a big reason for that. Yeah. 100%. When I, uh, I would, so now I'm the young, I'm the young one here. Uh, so huh. I, would, <laughs> I would, when I came in when I came into New York High School, she would just she was just coming in. Uh, Miss Cabarra had just retired. Uh, Deidre had come in as the new principal, uh, and I would tell you uh, honestly, you know, people were didn't know what to expect at that time. Now we're talking 20 years ago. Right, uh, right. She right. came from Brooklyn. She she came to this school, uh, and I will tell you tell you in a very short period of time, uh, she did a lot, and Miss Cabarra did an amazing job there too. And so Deirdre picked up and, and picked up where she left off and then took it to the next level. So we were, I was there for four years through that. Uh, she was always supportive. She came, she was always at sporting events. She loved watching the bowling team. Uh, she just, she made you feel like you wanted to be there on a regular basis. And that, that you need a principal that's like that. And having been, our families are friends and I love seeing her updates. She had a great update to the senior class this yes. year. 
But Wasn't it amazing? Uh, standing on the new football field, I thought it was awesome. And uh, you can tell that she's heart wrenched because these the, the kids think they're not going to have a graduation and they're not going to have a prom. And right. giving them hope and knowing that there's going to be something. We are Absolutely. going to take care of you and do this. The field looks great and funny. When I had left, we didn't graduate on the field because it was a new field then in 2004. Uh, so oh, really? field, we graduated at the College of Staten Island. And here we are, fast forward 16 years, and a, another brand new football field. And it looks fantastic. So the kids it should is, be it's proud gorgeous. of that. It's gorgeous. And that's all we talked about at the, like, towards the end of last year, the beginning of this year, it was like, we're, you know, like, we're home, we're home. It's it's just being back. And, and, and Farrell, God bless them. They were awesome to us. Um, and we had wonderful ceremonies there, but it's, 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 it's just not home. It's, it's like, if you guys up and left and went someplace else to a bowl, you know, like it's not home. This isn't, this isn't what, you know, um, and this was all the talk of, of this year. Um, and the senior class has just been very amped and, and that's what I loved. <laughs> she, she, she didn't realize, she was like, I didn't know it was going to be on YouTube. <laughs> her, her messages. She, just, she, was, she was like, Oh my God! Did you hear me? I just—I sounded awful. <laughs> I was like, I, was like, I said, "Oh, Miss Angeles." I was like, "You—you you sounded so genuine and so authentic. Like you sounded like you." And she was like, "You don't think I sounded too Brooklyn?" I said, "No." <laughs> I said, "It was like I was like it was like you were talking to me." And I said, "If I was a kid watching it, I would think you were talking to me and just reassuring me this is going to happen." I was like. That was that was absolutely the message you were sending out, and and a lot of the parents that I talked to soon after that message had gone out, it did just that. It just gave that little bit of hope that like, okay, even if it's, geez, I mean, even if it's you know September, and everyone is starting their new life, like she's still going to give them their moment, and that I, you know, that just again is a testament to to her and and to really to everyone, um, and we and we love. We, we love all of our kids. This is a very special senior senior bunch, and all they have been looking forward to has is is everything that is very postponed and altered right now, and that's that's really hard on the heart. Um, but she gives she gave hope, especially for that, and that's what everyone is really um, uh, embracing right now. Just to know that there's a we're on a long road, but that there's a light. You know, and that's sometimes that's all you need to know. You know, and and it makes what you're on right now tolerable even though it's really hard yeah and the, we love here the, so the, we've got employees and friends and family that the kids go to the school and uh just the, the things that come out of the school my brother had the opportunity to speak at the at the graduation last year yes year. yes he did and uh you know it was a different experience for him having gone back just to speak at graduation he was honored and it was an honor to be able to see that and it's 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 amazing to see how a school is transformed over time and what yeah. what's happening in all of it. And it's not just at New York, it's happening at schools no, everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. everywhere. Staten Island. Uh, but it's great to see. And so with a great support system like you, uh, the school can certainly flourish. They can't she knows, she says it all the time, can't do it without our team. Uh, and I love how if you follow the school on social media, it's always about the staff and students, uh, which is which is cool. It's cool to see. Uh, yesterday's Instagram story was all about this uh, touching back uh, with the teachers and celebrating World Autism Day, which was which was pretty cool. That was my group. That was my group, and that was when I tell you that took um, and, and a big person with that was involved with that. Um, Naz, I'll tell you, it was Victoria Torricelli, um, who totally sends her love. Um, it, it that literally took no time at all. It was just a message that we sent out because we were again trying to keep some of our old um, normal with our new normal. And Naz also knows this too. We, we had a date, we had a date coming up for autism awareness um, at, well, we were hoping for at the end of April when all this, you know, kind of uh, transformed our lives um, uh, because this is our month. And, um, and, and people just flooded in with pictures and, and it was so nice to see so many people that either um, you just, you, we haven't seen in a while, you know, and just, just that we're thinking about us and thinking about them. And it was just this like great moment of, of support. Um, like I said, you know, we, we've unfortunately have encountered some sad stories as, as I'm sure you guys have with, with everything that's going on. Um, and it was, it was such a needed, um, talk about a hug, 
So if you can't do it physically, sometimes these messages and things are like the hug that you can't do physically, but you can feel it on the inside. And, um, and what we were able to put together and review and send out to everyone just seems to really have been any, uh, a, a very great thing. Um, and keeping, keeping the month, um, uh, you know, what well, we always keep it, which, which is, is autism awareness month, you know, and that's, that's where we, we want to keep, um, keep top of mind. things going, you know, yeah. I, I have to say, uh, so forget about you and your love, love fest with you. Uh, how's mom? <laughs> so mom, I was just gonna love it. Mom is awesome. Mom is behaving. <laughs> I was like, oh. How was it keeping her in the house? Well, her regular places are closed, I'm sure. So you know. <laughs> well, so and we we were in there, believe it or not, in her favorite place. Um, when they came in and made the announcement that 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 they were going to be shutting a lot of the bars and, and restaurants down. And I, and I said, oh, my goodness, I said, this this is going to hurt my mom probably more, <laughs> than anything, more, than, more than anything else. Um, and I said, my God, I said, how are you going to eat? <laughs> what are you going to do? Yeah. Um, but no, she is awesome. Thank you so much for asking. Um, she is fantastic. Um, she has always taken care of herself. Um, I I... And again, we're, we have to love fest for just just a split second. I always, always stand behind the strongest women that I know and meet, like this lady sitting next to you, um, and my mom and Miss D'Angelo's. I am so blessed with incredible, incredible women in my life. Um, so my mom has always been a very independent person. Um, it's very hard to keep my mom down, but my mom is smart. So she does do her walks. Um, she is very loyal to her walks. Um, she's has taken upon herself to also yell at people in the parks that are <laughs> congregating together. Um, that doesn't she, doesn't, she, she does. <laughs> she doesn't want to lose her her walk in the park, you know, because uh, uh, it's and and wants everyone to also stay safe. So she she will yeah. yell. Um, so if there's a crazy four foot five old lady yelling, that's my mom. <laughs> but she wants everyone to stay safe. Um, and sometimes the parks on the lovely days do get crowded, um, but she is she is walking, um, and she goes right home, um, and she only shops for necessities in her area, and she is catching up on probably every single solitary show that anyone has ever suggested <laughs> to her, <laughs> and uh, and just um, and she just got she just got um, Zoom. She, 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 she did not have the ability to do FaceTime. So my sister was able to get a zoom on her phone. So now she can see, um, my niece and nephew, um, and, and her furry grandchild, which is my dog. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we, we keep her at, we keep her entertained. We keep her occupied. And, um, I speak to her every day. Um, it's very hard for me to be away from my mom, but with these amenities, she's, she's with me. I, but I, I thank I do thank you for asking about. I know her. I miss seeing her. I usually get to see her every week. Just uh, to, just for a moment to go back to uh, the messages that you've been sending out from New Dorp High School, I did have two people reach out to me and tell me uh, that the kids needed it more than you know. Oh. So it's it's get, the message is getting out there and and it, it's it's needed and thank you. Oh. No. <laughs> I, I've, I've said this forever, and whether it was Curtis or whether it's New York, I have never worked a day in my life because I am, I am blessed in every which way, shape, and form, and it's every kid, starting from Liz to <laughs> to the present ones I have now. This is this is this is life, and this is everything that I love so much. So what whatever we're doing for the kids. They have no idea how much they're doing for for us, and how much they have been doing for for me, per, specifically, for a lot of years. So it's 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 all good feelings and all wonderful things. And I hope that and that's just going to continue because this is just um, a hurdle, and we've been, we've hit these walls. Um, I think unfortunately some of us are veterans to some of these walls that we've hit in our in our lifespan. Um, and this too, we will go through and come out on the other side. All right. I'd like you to just give maybe a small bit of advice to anybody who's maybe going through a particularly anxious time or 
struggling trying to get through this right now? So, you know, we all are. And I think, um, I think my message is it's okay. You know, it's okay. Um, all feelings are, are true and all feelings are genuine and all feelings are, are who we are. And whatever anyone is feeling is totally okay. Um, I think it's important to feel the feelings um, and, uh, and go through it. I, I think um, the only, the, the, the best message that I can send with anything is just that we are going to, um, we're going to come out on the other side of it. And, and it's a little trusting of that. And it's, 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 um, it's believing as well. And it's hard in these moments to believe in anything positive when there is a lot of negative. Um, but that's what gets us to the positive, um, is, is, is having that faith and that hope and, um, and relying on, on and, and, and just being with your people, you know, with your people, whether it's this way, whether it's close to your home, um, we'll rely on those supports and, and we will get through. We will, we will most definitely. Um, but feelings are wonderful and feelings are okay. Even if they feel really not great. Um, it's important to feel that and, um, and work through it and, and we'll come in on the other side. We will, no doubt. Thank you. Thank you. We'll send, we're sending you hugs. Oh, so yeah. many, so many, so many. Oh, so many, so and many. When you, when you talk to mom, send, to, send that. Yes, send all I will, I will. That Island royalty right there. Uh, thank you your mother. so much. Oh, thank you guys so, so much. Love to everyone. Love to you, Liz. Love you. Thank you, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us today. We really Anytime, appreciate anytime, anytime. Yes, thank you so much. I love you. I thank love you. you. Exactly. I'll see you, you guys. soon. Bye. Oh, she's awesome. She's awesome. We may have to have her back. Absolutely. Maybe we'll make her a weekly guest. We could. A breath of fresh air for yeah. sure. And you know what? Uh, and and, and it, it, with that, we're gonna have, we're, we're gonna ask Deidre, Deidre to come on. I think. Absolutely, uh, I think. She's yeah. been sharing some great messages, and she could talk a little bit about what's going on at the school or lack thereof. But at the same time, uh, in in education, this has been uh, an interesting week. Two weeks yeah. for sure. Uh, last week started the, the learning from home and uh, people are trying to figure it all out. Students, parents, teachers, and I've seen some great posts in the last couple yeah. of days. So it looks like it's working. Uh, my nephew Thomas was doing homework, was first grade homework yesterday, uh, making sure to get on through the classroom. Some of the schools have been set up and fit to do it, or a lot right. of them maybe weren't. So right. Google Classroom, yeah. to what Janine was saying, is something that they haven't used before to this extent right right it wasn't really meant to be used on such a wide platform yeah. but you know they're adjusting and and getting through it and uh kudos to the education system as as and to the teachers out there that are on these platforms uh thank you because I, I i know you didn't sign up for this but um this is what we have right now and i know a lot of teachers and i know a lot of teachers who are uh missing their children uh and uh listen you do uh god's work my teachers yeah hey you know we happen to be in the new group theme today uh so i'll we've got a follow-up on our bowl from home oh yes uh, videos and photos so yesterday we shared a photo from the courtney family uh, and they took on the challenge to share a video. So we're going to share this with you. Uh, this is a bowl at home video from the, court, uh, the Courtney family, uh, who students who also <laughs> got oh, 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 oh. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Take two. Take two. Make your spares. Make your spares. I don't expect anything. No, don't less. pick it up. You gotta make no, your spare. Pick it up. You gotta make your spare. You only get not a one. You only get not a one. Yeah. Just don't hit the yeah. mother. Just don't hit the mother. <laughs> and watch this. Wait, I gotta stand behind the basketball. Hoop. Stand behind the basketball. Hoop. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. Ready? Yep. Ready? Yep. <laughs> It's kind of videoing me. It's kind of videoing me. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, it made a nice sound. Oh, I missed that sound. I missed that sound. Oh, thank you, Sarah and Kenny.
Yeah. Connie and Will for sharing that. that that's cool. Uh, and notice how she was trying to get some help from the basketball. Basketball, team. yes. Uh, uh, those are her bumpers, I guess. Uh, <laughs> so be sure to continue to share those with us. Hashtag Bowl from Home. Uh, there are some great uh, videos popping around the Facebook and Instagram uh, that people are sharing. So share those with us. Uh, tag us so that we can see it. If, you, if you're just posting it without the hashtag, we may not see it. If you don't add us or post it to our page, we certainly won't see it. So yes. yes. Sh share those. Uh, and so through all of yesterday, we didn't get to show our meme of the day. And so- Oh, that's right. We got bumped off at the end. We, right. we got bumped off. <laughs> so we're taking this meme local. Uh, so <laughs> if anybody's friends with our very own Terry Hart, uh, she's been uh, logging her days. And this was yesterday, day 16. <laughs> so when, apparently when Terry was a kid, they had, she had underwear with days of the week on them. Uh, she could really use them now. Uh, that goes in the theme that we don't know what day it is either. We don't know. Although we do know it's Friday. Today is Friday. See? We do know. <laughs> so Terry, I hope you figured out what day it was, but thanks. Thank you, Terry, for the laughs. Uh, she's got a couple good ones. So she if you've was seen playing them. board games with fictional characters yesterday and one of them flipped a monopoly board oh yes <laughs> oh what is he yeah, yeah. look yeah terry's keeping busy with the cat she's apparently playing monopoly with fictional characters uh that's probably the only way she wins yeah. <laughs> uh we've gotten some great pictures from our from our team members that are that are at home uh, and maybe we'll do that them. maybe we'll ask them the whole staff to share a picture at home from home we should do that all right, so All right. we're going to send up. We've been checking in on our staff, and uh, we're, we're constantly thinking of our team. Uh, we're going to ask them for some photos. We have to be careful. <laughs> right, right. Uh, photos we could actually share. And we certainly couldn't do what we do without them, and uh, they're awesome. So uh, that's a good idea. And, you know, we got to have, we should have Terry and, and at least Pearl check in with us, uh, see who else will t come on yeah, the show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you miss their faces too. Uh, so we're going to get them on the show, talk a little bit with them. So, uh, if you're friends with Terry, did check out her post if you haven't already, because there's there's some good humor in there. I don't know if Terry's watching today, but Terry, we are talking about you. Uh, and if you don't know, I'm going to remind you later that we've been, we talked about. Yeah, I don't I don't have any texts yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was that was great. We had Joe yes. uh, Joe Ambrose from Wagner College talk a little bit about what's going on there, and uh, we got a new season in October. Hopefully, in October. Exciting. Right? Exciting stuff. Have college bowling here at Rabs with a, a team of girls that are ready to rock and roll, team of women. And that, you know, Janine's breath, breath of fresh air and Bobby Mirabella uh, pointed that out too. So, uh, yes, she's a ball of energy. This uh, <laughs> understatement. She did. She is. It was hard to keep her in that little frame. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Naz. Uh, hey, Frank. It's Friday. It's the weekend. Yes, it is. So, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow is Saturday. And Joe and Joe will be back with us co-hosting because Saturday is, Frank. Pro Bowler Saturday. Yes, it is. It's Pro Bowler Hall of Famer Saturday at this point. We've been super <laughs> lucky with the bowlers we've been able to get. So um, uh, joining us this weekend, it will be uh, Carolyn and Del Ballard. And uh, they will hopefully tell us a little bit about the dynamic of a competitive couple living together and married for a very long time. And uh, cooped up together. Cooped up. Right now they're <laughs> really together. And, uh, you know, tell us a little, share, hopefully they'll share about their careers individually and together. And uh, yeah, Carol we'll get a little chat. Carolyn, it's almost like a homecoming for Carolyn. She's uh, a Jersey girl. She's a Jersey girl and, too, and a New York Mets fan. Just saying, just saying. Yes, we met. I may wear my Mets shirt. Oh, she like that. She's she's a big Mets fan. I like uh, talking with her about when, when we're in season because uh, she's intense. And she was. If you didn't know, she was intense on the lanes. Oh, yeah, she's yeah. intense <laughs> about about sports and, and especially baseball. Uh, and she's the one of the newest inductees in the PWBA Hall of Fame. Yes, she is. Uh, since the PWBA returned. They brought back the Hall of Fame uh, last year, and she's in the second class, and so uh, th that's really cool. So we're looking forward to having them tomorrow. Sunday, a future PWBA Hall of Famer, uh, Stephanie Johnson, is going to join us, uh, talk a little bit about her career. She's a product of our environment, 
youth bowler, bowled through the ranks, and here she is a champion on the PWBA tour, which is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, we can't wait to have Stephanie here. And please, if you have any questions for them, you can send them ahead of time or post it in the feed because we do like to ask them questions. And if there's something that you would want to know about them or how they handled a certain situation or what their life is like or their favorite bowling center, whatever, food, whatever. This is a time for them to come and chat. They've been really happy coming and chatting with us and sharing some personal stories too. So it's, it's been cool. It, it's been cool. Uh, and we're looking forward to continue sharing those with you. So tomorrow we're back at it, two o'clock. So come be, join us at two o'clock. Eastern, we have to start clarifying that. As we've Eastern, got, is it uh, Eastern? Eastern time, Eastern, Eastern standard time. Right. That's right. Uh, we've got guests from all over the world. We are truly a ratings bonanza, as Joe and Joe would say. Uh, we appreciate you watching us every day. Uh, this is this has been fun, uh, and so far we're, we're we're truly enjoying it. And if you have any suggestions for guests that you'd like to hear from, specifically what's maybe happening in our community, uh, please reach out to Nazari. You can do it through Facebook text Absolutely. in the comments here. We're, we're always checking them out. Uh, we want to hear from you. Uh, there might be something happening out there that we haven't talked about, and uh, we'd love to talk about it as, as long as it's politics free, right? No politics. <laughs> so uh, be sure to like and share out our videos. If you're watching us on YouTube, subscribe, which you've been doing, which has been great, and like. Uh, really, thank you to Joe and Janine uh, for taking some time with us today. Uh, wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Uh, keep your distance. Uh, be oh, safe. and now you should be hopefully wearing a mask if you go outside, uh, yes. Uh, and, uh, oh, yeah, you know, uh, I didn't think of that. I've been making masks at home. Uh, I made some for a nursing home, and now I'm in the middle of making them for my friends and family, which is great. I have a dinky little machine, but um, I'm running out of fabric. So if there are any crafters out there, that might have some fabric around, uh, send me a Facebook message and uh, I'll get it somehow. So just throwing that out there. You know, this is how we get in trouble. You <laughs> I, we talked a little bit about this when we first started. Uh, I think it was with Diane. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take us back for a moment. We're gonna go back to, to Sand, Superstorm Sandy. Oh, and Nazareth started yeah. asking for things and when when we ask for things, you deliver, which is amazing. We've got a, an amazing community. We don't want to fill up the parking lot with fabric. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh. We really don't. I need regular cotton fabric. If you have some, uh, please let me know. Uh, we will <laughs> get them and we will get it somehow. And, uh, yeah. We want to look stylish with the mask. Is that what you're trying to do? I, well, I, I saw I the just first couple no you fun. made. They were really nice. I did. A, yeah, I, nice. would, I found a pattern online, and I haven't sewn for a very long time, but pulled out that machine, and I got going, and, you know, it, it's not complicated. You could even customize the mask. I could, I could customize Don't touch them. me. Don't come near me. You could put anything you want. <laughs> mask and customize. So, you know what? So them. if you bring fabric, you're going to get a customized mask from Naz. Uh, yeah. Frank will be funding that probably. Yeah. You know what? I don't I didn't mind say they doing were free. that. I didn't, I didn't say they were free. I don't mind doing that. If you need masks and you bring fabric, uh, yeah. Because actually I ordered a new sewing machine and it should be here on Monday. <laughs> yeah. And, and they're also talking about you can use scarf you're not really and yes yes if, if you have those medicals uh masks listen to what they're telling you we need them for our medical professionals if you're going out and you really shouldn't be going out just just cover your face uh whether you're using a scarf a, a regular mask uh don't waste these supplies as we know that uh, you don't need it to hear from us it's just hey you know we're talking about it so just be yes be, be thoughtful we keep thanking the ones that everybody on the front lines and we all need to be thankful for them saying prayers and, and thinking about them and if you know any nurses, doctors, police, firemen, anybody working in, out in the field, supermarkets. MTA, uh, subway workers. Shoot a text, reach out, uh, yeah. say hello, tell, remind people you're thinking of them. Tell them thank you. Tell them thank you. you know, while we're sitting at home complaining about watching Netflix all day, uh, they're, uh, they're out there putting themselves out in front of people 
and it's a scary time. So yes, thank them. Don't hug them, but thank them. Virtual hugs. Come on, that's a bit emoji. Bit you know. Yes, make, that's what everybody could do. Make a bit emoji and share it with us next week. I would like that. Oh, <laughs> those are fun. Those are fun. Well, again, thanks for for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Uh, we we love hearing from you. Continue to share, uh, Inez. That was awesome. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.